We went to Rwanda and saw a special species of monkey that is only found in one park in the entire world. And oh boy, it's one of the cutest animals we've ever seen. I'm Oscar. And I'm Dan. And today we're in Volcanoes National Park in Rwanda. We usually spend Christmas at home and had planned to stay for two weeks after New Year's, but the dark and gray weather of Sweden was really, really tearing us down, so we decided to leave a week early. In typical Oscar and Dam fashion, our destination was decided based on the best availability of flights. Rwanda's been on our to-go list for a long time, especially since we'd never explored East Africa before, so when we saw the seats, Dan pounced, and one week later, we touched down in Kigali. Our next video will be entirely dedicated to the capital city of Rwanda and why it's such a remarkable place. There isn't too much to do there, so we'll make sure to share the highlights and less known activities. However, the real magic in Rwanda happens in the countryside. In the northwest corner of Rwanda is Volcanoes National Park. Besides being one of the few homes to the famous mountain gorillas, see our last video for that, it also houses some smaller relatives, much smaller. For just $100, in comparison to the $1,500 you have to pay for the gorillas, you get to trek and spend an hour in the presence of these animals. Not only are they so adorable, but the entire way they behave is just so endearing. So which animal are we talking about? The, the golden, golden monkey! monkey. Oh. <laughs> so come with us for our hike and most importantly enjoy the cuteness before we return with a real vlog in a few days. Okay. Okay, it is day number two of hiking today. <laughs> and uh, we are going to see the golden monkeys which only exist right here in uh, Rwanda and, well, the border between Rwanda and Uganda. This is the only place in the whole world, so super excited to see them. Apparently there's 200 of them and they just had babies. So what is the golden monkey? Well, it's a species of old world monkey found only in the Virunga volcanic mountains. It lives in social groups of up to 30 individuals and they're highly social animals. Their group sizes are actually determined by the altitude at which Whoa. they live because lower altitudes generally have more food, so groups are bigger there and vice versa. The groups usually only consist of a couple males and the rest are all females, so lots of single ladies. They eat bamboo, but seem to have a strong preference for fruit, so when fruit season starts, they just abandon the bamboo. Huh, sounds like Dan, except he'll abandon fruit for cake. What the hell? The golden monkey will often return to one of several different sleeping areas after a day of feeding. The monkeys often sleep in small subgroups of four at the top of bamboo plants. They often use a dense bamboo plant or a combination of several bamboo plants that they weave together to make a sufficient foundation for sleep. Sounds cozy. So we hope you guys enjoyed this random short little video. And if you want to see what to do in Rwanda or our upcoming travel vlogs, make sure you hit subscribe. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to help us out. So we'll see you all very soon.